much. Please. You got some speaking to do of your own. About that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? <laughs> I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? A court. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. You sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us? Cold? That's... That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How are you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, old Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind. Young feller, right at the forefront of them. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round.
Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Damn it, Holmes a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. Settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Get out! Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Fine. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse. But we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you. Every moment. Okay, girl. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose the balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay, get down. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yup. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What do we?
are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay, go to work. Hush, hush now. If the old man loses it, I won't get another chance in ages. I'll be stood guard duty, sun up to sun down, soiling my drawers in the spot.
boy said Cole would be in the cabin. You ain't gonna check the cabin. I will. Ain't you checking the cabin for Cole? What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I, sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. You get lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. <laughs> Right you are. At least you got something tucked away. some help finding my way home. I can't make heads or tails of where I'm at. <laughs> I live 
in front of the saloon <laughs> next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Coming from a good time, huh? I've got to make sure my wife doesn't see me like this. Another drink here, Barton. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, you kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I'd prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. You're just a tenderfoot with a mask on. Yeah. Yeah. You're all right, girl. Bastards. Hey, you sit down and shut your mouth. Keep clear of the wagon, sir. <laughs> Sons of bitches! Be quiet! You ain't going nowhere! I'll kill all of you! Will you just shut up back there!
Should I give you my tea too, or are we done? Let's go, girl. Yeah. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> Shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I'm knee-deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. I'm gonna do this for you, but I don't like you. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. A scalp so <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Yeah, I get it, all right? You're me. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girlie. Why, a feminine type like you? I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. That's a sloppy one. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? 
Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man of peace, no government witness. <laughs> Galloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well. Seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away right now. Don't do it! There you go. No. No. No! You did not! No! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do.